will preface with all of these moving forward that you need to seek medical advice, not knowing where you are um, on a timeline. Most of these are standard practice. So after you've asked them, the medic or the overseeing physician is going to then turn around and ask the exact same question. thought today we would do something a little different, something I've not done on the channel before, where I'm going to take you through the entire process of me getting ready, do kind of like a little q and A. I I did this community tab right here. Go ahead and leave that up for a minute or two while I talk. In trying to research and gather the information to do this particular video. So this month, I'm going to try and do something a little bit different. See how everyone likes it. I'm going to do a little series on the channel questions here. Basically got the main tamed. Let's go ahead and move on into this. So over the course of the next three months, I'm going to do this little mini series and then at the end of the mini series I'm going to stitch them together for a longer version so that it's sequential I uh, am basically just winging this so I, I don't know we can figure it out together how about that? Work on prepping. Oh, this mini series, frightening enough, is going to be about head injuries. Um, like me, I had three of them. My first one started out as a child. I fell off the monkey bars. The second one, I hit a lake. It wasn't a lake. It was the biggest ice cube I've ever seen. And then the third one was the auto accident. And that's when they had finally diagnosed it as a TBI. Each one of those, the questions I'm going to ask can apply and should I wind up with another one heaven forbid anyone with a TBI is shuddering right now um, so these would be questions for a caregiver again little Johnny has played outside little Mary has played outside and all of a sudden they're complaining their head hurts so what do you do? What is standard practice after that happens? Okay, so you're going to start to assess the situation and make sure that there isn't any visible signs of distress, okay? of 
dress you're looking for. After you've assessed that there's no signs of distress, you're going to start asking questions. Okay, and one of the very first things that you're going to ask little Johnny or little Mary is, do you remember what happened? They'll want to repeat it again in the doctor's office. Or, depending on its severity of what's going on in the emergency room. So you're going to ask, well, what happened? Do you know where you are right now? Again, most people can answer that question. Any odd answer to that is a red flag. Can you tell me what happened before um, you hit your head? Okay. Um, it'll also answer whether or not um, they have short-term memory loss. So the next question you're going to ask is, how did you get here? To the child or the adult? Because quite honestly, all of these questions could also be asked to an adult. And you'll still receive the same answer that they have a head injury. Again, your age, what happened, your location, and what... Uh, how did this happen are standard ones so the next one is what is your age and then they'll ask what year it is doctor okay so continuing on with the questions you would then ask where do you live um, what state do you live in okay so now then what's your phone number um do you feel sick at all? Is do you walk to work or do you carry your lunch? Is Mickey Mouse a cat or a dog? Can you get a tiger to eat a dollar bill? Goal of asking any of these questions is to get four correct answers. And a score of for a, uh, a and O is a good score. Also make note of whether or not the individual has lost consciousness at all through the entire process. And relay that to any medical individual that will be looking at the survivor. So again, you're going to want to pick four of these questions. So that now comes to the end of this particular video. Um, I'm going to send it off to the editing board. If you like videos like this one, click here. And if you like content like this, Press it. Please like, subscribe, and share. We will talk to you again soon. Bye!